Hi guys, continuation pa rin ito sa nagdaang lesson natin which is grade 5 math, quarter 4, module 2, lesson 2. So lesson 2 pa rin tayo. Ang nagdaang lesson natin is converting cubic centimeter to cubic meter and vice versa. Ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin is converting cubic centimeter to liter and vice versa. Meron tayong example dito, an aquarium can hold 10 liters of water. How many cubic centimeter of water does it hold? So, ang given natin is liters. Ang gagawin natin is i-convert natin siya into cubic centimeter. So, liter ang gagawin natin. Liter yung given natin. I-convert natin into cubic centimeter. Tatandaan natin na ang ating 1 liter is equal to 1 cubic decimeter. So, ang 1 liter natin is equal to 1 cubic decimeter. Dahil liter ang given natin at i-convert natin siya into cubic centimeter, so ang gagamitin natin is 1 cubic decimeter or cubic decimeter kasi ang cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter. So ang gagamitin natin dito is cubic decimeter. Okay, so kasi magkapareho lang ang 1 liter equivalent to 1 cubic decimeter. So ngayon, ang, uh, ang cubic centimeter natin is meron tayo ditong 10 centimeter. Ang equivalent niya is 1 decimeter. Meaning, ang 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter. At ngayon, dahil naka-cubic tayo at naka-cubic tayo, ang ibig sabihin, i-multiply natin siya ng tatlong beses. So, ang gagawin natin para makuha natin ang ating cube is i-multiply natin ng tatlong beses si decimeter times 1 decimeter times 1 decimeter. At Si 10 cm naman para makuha natin ang cube or 3 cm, i-multiply natin siya ng 3 beses. So, 10 cm times 10 cm times 10 cm. So, ngayon, i-multiply na natin siya. So, 1 times 1 equals 1 times 1 equals 1. And then, decimeter times decimeter times decimeter, ilang decimeter meron tayo? 3. So, ibig sabihin, magiging... 1 cubic decimeter na ito. Pagkatapos sa kabila naman, 10 times 10 equals 100. Times 10 equals 1,000. So, 1,000 centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. Ilang centimeter meron tayo? Tatlo. So, magiging cubic centimeter. So, ibig sabihin, ang conversion natin, ang 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 centimeter. So, ngayon, tatandaan natin na ang 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter. So, ang 1 liter natin, or 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter. Tatandaan natin na ang value ng ating 1 liter ay 1,000 cubic centimeter. Para ma-solve natin or ma-convert natin itong 10 liters into cubic centimeter. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-convert ang ating 10 lit liters into cubic centimeter. So, 10 liters equals how many cubic centimeter? So, since ang 1 liter natin is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter or ang ating 1 liter or 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter, so ang mangyayari is 10 liters or 10 liters times 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, 10 times 1,000 is equal to 10,000. Again, balikan natin para maintindihan natin. Ang 10 liters is i-convert natin into cubic centimeter. So, alam na natin na ang isang liter ay merong equivalent na 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, para ma-convert natin ang ating 10 liters into cubic centimeter, i-multiply natin ang ating 10 liters sa value ng isang liter which is 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, 10, that's why 10 times 1,000 is equal to 10,000. So, therefore, ang sagot natin is ang 10 liters is equal to 10,000 cubic centimeter. So, ito na yung sagot natin na ang equivalent ng ating 10 liters na water na ma-hold ng aquarium is equal to 10,000 cubic centimeter. Another example tayo. So, cubic centimeter naman, i-convert natin into liters. Meron tayong given dito, 45,000 cubic centimeter, gawin nating liter. So, again, ang value ng ating 1 liter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, 45,000, 45,000, i-divide natin sa 1,000, or itong value ng ating isang liter. Again, so, ang 45,000, or ang value ng ating 
units na naka cubic centimeter, i-divide natin sa value ng isang liter which is 1,000 cubic centimeter. So ngayon, 45,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 45. So therefore, 45,000 cubic centimeter is equal to 45 liters. So, ibig sabihin, ang 45 cubic centimeter na tubig, kapag i-convert natin into liters, is magiging 45 liters. So, ang tatandaan lang natin, kapag ang i-convert natin is cubic centimeter to liters, ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin siya. Kapag baliktad naman, kapag ang liters ang given mo, tapos i-convert mo into cubic centimeter, ang gagawin mo is i-multiply mo siya. That's all for today's video guys. Ang susunod nating lesson is about math pa rin, pero grade 6 math naman yung pag-uusapan natin, module 2. See you on our next lesson. Bye!